You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike, and this is an ink from Papier Plume. This one is called Rebirth, and this is going to be introduced at the DC Pen Show here in 2023. This is in conjunction with an, a local artist in New Orleans named Tony Hollums. And as you can see there on the uh, the bottle art, which uh, Tony Hollums did, this is going to be sort of a reddish, brownish kind of color. And I really like it. So let's take a look at it. All right. I have not had this ink for very long. So this is going to be a little bit of an abbreviated uh, review, but not terribly abbreviated. So, you know, we'll get a good idea. Here's what this ink looks like. Here on this Nebula casual note paper, you can see there is a good amount of shading. Also, it looks pretty darn dark in the writing sample areas, and that's because I've been using a pretty wet nib with this ink. I just kind of really wanted to, to put a bunch of ink on the page, and so I went with this conid here. But you can see there's a lot of like kind of nice brown over here that tends a little bit yellowish. And then somewhere in here, you hit some red bands, which is really interesting. And you can see a lot of that kind of shading in the text as well. Here is the pen I've been using, which is a Conid Minimalistica. This is the Monarch version. And uh, this is a titanium Bach nib. And this is a very wet nib. So I actually had a different nib on here and I, it was just a little bit too sharp for the papers I was using. And so I just switched it out. So this uh, ink will look a little bit lighter with a, an ink that doesn't have as much flow. But uh, given the, the time constraints, I'm just going to use this one for the reviewing. So here we go. Flow medium. I, I think this, I mean, I know this nib is incredibly wet and just kind of the way it feels, ah, this is kind of a medium ink. It's neither wet nor dry or anything like that. Performance, not great on the 20 pound with the, with the uh, titanium nib, but I think it'll actually be fine with other nibs. I think this is just because it's throwing a lot of ink at the old page there on that bad paper. Qualities, plenty of shading. Comment section, introduced at the DC Pen Show in 2023. I don't know why I wrote this in the past tense, but this is an ink that reminds me a lot of like red pottery clay and in fact one of the the um uh, the colors that I have to compare it to is terracotta, but uh, my wife Audrey said, you know what, this looks like cinnamon. And you know what, it does look like cinnamon stick, and I think that's probably the closest that I'm going to get here in terms of like a non-ink material for this. I think she's right, I think it's cinnamon, because when you look at a cinnamon stick, you get this uh, some lighter areas, you get darker areas, you get like the almost black tones that you have there in the middle, you get some red. Cinnamon, I think that's right on. Okay, let's go ahead and do our water drop test here. And then after that, we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, uh, a couple of papers. Well, another paper here, the copy paper, and then we'll uh, look at some uh, comparable inks. Give this a little bit of a swoosh around. I didn't do a whole bunch of writing samples of this just because I've just not had the time. I haven't had this ink for very long. So uh, we're going to have to make do with uh, limited writing samples. There we go. Go ahead and soak that up there. And yeah, a whole lot of it came off the page, which is not surprising, but there is actually, uh, there's actually a nice little gray layer here. <sighs> My cat's furs. I have this cat. She has little short gray furs or uh, red, black furs, and I get caught in this uh, paper all the time. So yeah, a little bit of a, I don't know, a grayish kind of color is left over. So definitely not waterproof or water resistant as a brownish reddish color, but as a as a thing you can definitely make out your work later on for sure. I mean, look at these little tick marks. Totally readable. I'd be able to recreate this with no problem, even though it wouldn't have the same color anymore. All right, so here we have it on the 20% uh, uh, or sorry, 20 pound, 30% recycled copy paper. And you can see that there are lots of feathers here. But as I said, this TI nib is extremely wet. And uh, so, yeah, it bled through. And I don't think this will happen with more normal nibs. This is just uh, an exceptional case of a very wet nib. So I think this will probably be OK on this paper. But remember, this paper is the really bad stuff that you'll find in your office copier that is just the cheapest available. So not great with any fountain pen ink and uh, especially that one with high flow like this, uh, like this titanium nib. I guess we can look back here and uh, nothing came through the Nebula casual note, which I'm not surprised by. I did uh, bloop some right there as I was doing the swatch. It fell right off my letter opener and uh, and onto the, the corner, but, you know, didn't didn't go too far. So there you go. All right, let's take a look at a whole bunch of color comparisons. 
All right, so here is Papier Plume Rebirth on a Color Dex card. And you can see here it is a nice brownish reddish color. Really enjoying that color there. And I have a lot of colors to compare to it. Nothing is exactly the same, but this is a color, uh, this is an area of color that I am a big fan of. So I've got a bunch of things that might be kind of close. So here we, here we have Diamonds, Steven, SBRE, Brown ink uh steven's uh steven's ink is definitely more on the yellow side than rebirth so not really a match there then we have diamine gingerbread which is definitely more i don't know it's more brown like it's more of a sort of a, a normal brown it's still got some reddish and yellowish hints in there but nothing like rebirth really uh going the other direction here is robert oster and pen chalet's antelope canyon which is given to me by my friend ruth and also i have a, a sample of it from my friend kimberly they're really doubling up on those samples a little bit there so that's fun and uh yeah antelope canyon is just a little bit too yellow i think ditto the um Taranishi taisho roman guitar i don't know what this ink is called it's got too many names but nostalgic honey a little bit too yellow i think to be really close to that uh, that rebirth ink there now getting into some things that are closer my personal favorite brown, this is Vinta's Pamana Heritage Brown, uh, which I uh, ended up buying a, a bottle of finally after buying a bunch of samples and having a couple samples sent to me out of fuel's generosity because I couldn't get my hands on it. Uh, this is uh, a little bit... I don't know. It's definitely got sheen that the Papier Plume doesn't have, but it also, I think, runs yellower in general than the Papier Plume. So it's not that much like that one. Well, one more, and then we'll look at some that are pretty darn close. So this is Diamine's Brandy Snap, which I actually thought was going to be closer, but again, way more yellow. I don't know why, but I thought that this was going to be closer. That's what it looked like in my head. All right, now some stuff that is fairly close. Here is Diamine number 150, Terracotta, not number 150. This is the 150 year anniversary stuff. So this is Terracotta, which I bought from Cult Pens uh, this year. And uh, I think this is fairly close. Terracotta is definitely darker than Rebirth, but it's in the same area. Then we have KWZ Meet Me in St. Louis 2019, which you can't get anymore. Uh, it was just for that one pen show in St. Louis a few years back, but I think this is fairly close. This does have like an interesting shiny layer to the top of it that you don't get in Rebirth or in Terracotta really, but uh, fairly close in terms of color. This is a little bit yellower and this is a little bit redder perhaps, but pretty darn close and then uh lastly i think this is pretty close weirdly pelican brown which i haven't used in nigh on a decade i think but uh i think this is fairly close pelican brown doesn't look as interesting to me as rebirth i think rebirth has more more tones going on than uh, the pelican brown does is the 4001 version brown and um yeah so this is pretty close to a lot of inks that I like and even more inks that I like, but aren't that close anyway. So yeah, really interesting color here from Papier Plume. So go ahead and check that out at the DC Pen Show. I will be there, not at their booth, but uh, you know, they will be. It's fun that Papier Plume is going to be back at the at the, uh, the DC Pen Show. I really like their table and I like those folks. They're good people. So go check them out. Tell them I sent you and uh, pick yourself up a bottle of the Rebirth ink. I'm not sure how much it's going to sell for, but their inks usually sell in like $10 to $13 range. I believe so it'll be uh, it'll be in there somewhere. So yeah, there you go rebirth Thanks very much for watching hit that like button if you liked the video subscribe if you haven't already and uh, I don't know Think about becoming a patron and say hi to me at a pin show if you see me uh, You know what my I look like uh, I was at the beginning of the video. All right until later on Peace out <laughs>